and welcome. We are back on the SSD of uh, Plasma, the tutorial SSD, the one that I promised always to show everything that I do. So we're uh, still on 18.12.7 here and we see this message that quite strange thing. It wants to install a Debian file or, or Dodgy Dead or I'll figure it out is the correct option. This pop-up is for Discord. So Discord says, hey, um, there is an update, there's an update, and, and it does not know, of course, that we are on Arch Linux, so we don't, I uh, can't use DAP. So the best thing to do is here, I'll figure it out. Okay. And you saw maybe quickly, the, so you saw a version number in there somewhere. And what you need to do is sudo pacman minus s. Well, like Eric, first update since you need to get the, the libraries in, the new libraries from everywhere. And what is everywhere? Everywhere is these guys, right? Okay, has he read it? Control C, then I'm gonna install the rest later. Let's do the Discord separately, so you see why it's in there. So Discord jumps from 5.5-5 to 8-1. So basically, if you just update, then you won't see this uh, Discord message anymore. So if we would, I'm gonna shut it down immediately. But if we ru run then uh, Discord, you get the newer version, the eight, number eight. And here are all the guys, they are all loading up, but let's kill them because we are making a tutorial. So basically, on any system, um, there is also were some changes, major changes in January 2019. And one of the most important things is that we have a server, a new fast server. So the Arch Linux, the mirror list, the things where you get stuff is coming from, um, from a different server. But we see already that's already up to date. So that's already taken care of. If I say yes or no, nothing will change. It's the same version. So now it's all the rest, and then we can tackle a question that a user had. So let's first update everything, and let's pause the video. If there are issues, I'll start recording again. Okay, so update is finished. So this command is getting everything from Arch Linux and Arch Linux. And then if you type this one behind that one, it will check out the AUR stuff, and that's not that much. It's just one Sapphire icon going from 2.1 to 4.1, which is easily installed. Now the topic of the video is actually all these icons. So Sapphire icons or Numix icons or anything like it. You go to your system settings and then this guy opens up and you have here a lot of icons and uh, colors and workspace themes, a lot of things change. And one of the questions this user had is these icons they don't change and they're difficult etc so the sapphire icons is this guy that's that's what's up here but we have um, surf and numix for instance but then you have to apply so that's one thing don't close the window because nothing has changed that's that's something you could uh, do wrong here so you need to apply to actually tell the system and we're choosing now the surf and numix icon theme now it's as you can see it's it's changing and it's not changing some of them have changed these guys are still the other one the sapphire theme right that's typical um, uh, plasma or kde in the past and, and sometimes as well here it, it's it's improved over time but whatever um i saw i load up when i developed the sari icons and the servant icons for I don't know, plus 80 ISOs that I've um, loaded up and, and changed. You can see that on eric2.be. Loads of um, ISOs. Then sometimes, and, and Plasma is a little bit uh, particular in that, you need actually to log out and log back in. So that's one of the issues you are faced that you say, hey, uh, I did change something like, for instance, let's go all Sardi Mono, which is all gray. So all the icons should be gray, right? and you see everything colored but then you go in here and say oh this has changed so all elements have changed but not all elements have changed 
why is this this still yellow and and so on so some of these things change and they don't that's logout login reboot um, these things will work but then there's another thing where things can go wrong and that's the application style remember that we have dolphin we have we have um, the file manager called dolphin and as you see dolphin has followed my choice the choice that i just made in the icons is here sardi uh, mono vertex right if i take sardi mono colora which is a blue one it should follow the blue one here it's already blue here it doesn't follow it close the thing start dolphin again here it is blue again and everything is now following the pattern not everything <laughs> this is not okay um, this is okay 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 right so some of the let's say cache files I don't know why it happens but when you log out log in or reboot that will be also okay but there is a but so if you stay in plasma everything is super fine but if you take Thunar and we have installed Thunar on your system excuse me so the file manager that's not the file manager those are the preferences I suppose it's this one then you see a completely different kind of icon theme and then people ask my, the question to me why is that well first of all why do we have Thunar Thunar has the ability to configure custom actions there are lots of custom actions that we have created and are useful for our workflow for instance Control H if we say what's the difference between these two backup scales then we go compare and we see okay there are no differences fine so okay so that's one thing the possibility to right mouse click open a terminal start searching and then there's one thing that Dolphin will never do let's take um, open a folderous route from time to time we need to go inside I don't know uh, etc or something like that and you want to go in light DM and open here as root open folder as root it does not happen that much but sometimes we need to say this and that and that guy those delete and that one stays something like that right you know what you're doing you're becoming administrator and you say I want to be able to open a folder as root that's never gonna be available in Dolphin the developers do not want it to be there so it will not be there okay so that's the reason why Thunar is there but can we change it can we change these icons so that they're the same yes you can you have the so the application appearance application style you go to the GNOME application GTK style and what do you see let's open up to our Eric what do you see this is Dolphin in the corner that's Thunar in the left and our settings here are Sapphire so in this well compartment or, or selection we change the styles that are for GTK themes so that's something else it's not icons themes but might be interesting as well to include in the video GTK themes and here we are at the breeze and I like the breeze snow right breeze snow rather than breeze you set whatever you want to set but basically if you want to have the same icons here and here which personally I wouldn't in the sense that you know still know in which uh, the file manager you are this is Thunar lots of fun stuff here Konki Zen is here this is the right mouse click in Dolphin there is something completely different right so it keeps it different but if you say okay I want to have exactly the same you go up and you go and look for Sardi Monocolora that's the icon theme and I don't know if you need this in a, a backup theme a fallback theme um, I guess not unless you uninstall Sardi and then this one becomes um, 
the effect comes comes in effect. If we apply this, we apply Sardi Monocolora icons, and this should change. When will this be changed? Not now. Let's hope it loads up now. No. So it means you need to um, start to log out and log in. I'm just going to try one thing that might do the trick. There you go. Open terminal here. I believe there is a command to not minus Q or something. Quit. Now it's really, really quit. The other one was not quit. The one was still in the memory. This one is actually uh, faking a, a logout and, and a login or a reboot. And then you see the two file managers next to each other. The one is following settings from GTK3 and the other one is following settings from, from Plasma, which is probably going to be QT5. All right, so that's why from time to time people are uh, starting to get frustrated and all these icons uh, changing and all that. Different systems, this is, this is Sonar, this is Dolphin, and um, that's how to set it. All right, enjoy uh, Plasma. I think, did I update everything? So we can leave it at that, PKSYUA. The next time we are back at the system that's completely okay. And I'll have a look what this missing AWAR package is in the meantime. All right, cheers.